Okay, I'm all set up here, dashboard gauge and my tool. Eight threads per inch. 100, double depth of thread, 162,000. So we're looking at 81,000. Uh, so on my dashboard gauge will be set up here. So uh, we're all set. We're gonna do a scratcher and see where we're at. Right on the money at eight. Okay. I didn't cut a relief groove. Um, it's not. I'm gonna do the slow, uh, so I, I'd be all right with that. Well, I can't get much closer than that doing this. Um, it takes two hands to thread this like this, and uh, I wish I could get a better shot. It's kind of cool to watch uh, threading, but about as good as I can do it right now. We're almost there. After this cut, I'm going to test it. Let's 
to a test. This is the four job truck backing plate. So, well, it just starts. Yep, a little more. Okay, I'm right at 81 on my dashboard gauge, so uh, let's uh, clean up and try, try it again, test it again. Not quite yet. So there. This is my plate. This is my uh, piece I made before to make that nut, be able to test the nuts. And this goes in there and it's just hardly anything as far as play goes. So I'm shooting for that kind of fit. And uh, yeah, it, just, it just starts. Okay, I had some disturbances, but I just went and finished up. I a couple more cuts, and and uh, and so I just got to kind of clean things up. It's dirty, but anyway, it goes on there real nice. Um, couldn't ask for a better fit. I I can't wiggle it at all, so it's just it's just like a just nice fit. And, uh, We'll make that uh we'll make that work out real nice. And we'll make it screw, you know, this and it'll be screwed on the other way actually. It'll screw on this direct well this I mean, it won't screw on this way, but actually I'm gonna screw it on this way because this part will come up against the table, this face. And uh, just look where I'm going to cut it off at, and that's good. That will this will be down tight on the on there, and then we'll screw it down till this hits the table. So I'm going to put a chamfer on that, and we'll have to if we get it cut off, we'll have to machine the other end, clean it up. This is this is gonna work out just just fine. Just fine. Yeah, I'll just uh, I might part part of it. I might part all of it. We'll see how it goes. Okay, uh, here's the uh, here's the part we just uh, just made. It's all dirty, um, so came out pretty good. Uh, actually, the insides you know came out really good. Other than I, I did change my plan midstream, but that's that's all right. So here's our arbor. So what we're gonna do? 
So we're going to put it together. Um, as soon as I... There's my bolt. So that's going to go in there, right? Draw bolt on the other side. You can see... Get the seat a little bit to tighten that up. Okay. Then uh, this is going to go on. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's like just beautiful. And, uh, you know, this will be on the back of the four jaw. the back from the four job and that's going to go up there right against the and seat against the rotary table and I can put the four jaw on there now also I'll be able to um, take the uh, six jaw and spin it right on there also so I can put either chuck on there now what I want to do those I want to make another plate a backing plate and have the only the three-quarter mount in it uh, so the jaw the four jaw would actually could actually sit almost tight right but I'll have you know probably a half an inch or so raised up uh, give me a little better foundation on there uh, so I might uh, figure something out I'm gonna fi I already drew it up uh, that plate uh, whether I make one or not or how I make it because if I decided to put some indexing type plate on that would be the perfect it'd be perfect to mount it to anyway um, that's it so far it's, unless I make another plate I'll probably make one so it came out it came out sweet it's gonna be it's gonna be nice have that uh, chuck on there I'll go get the chuck and I'll show you. Okay, here's the the mounting plate on the uh, four jaw, and that's gonna go right on there, just like that. Spin it right on. Just like that. locks and oh this is sitting on the handle but anyway um let's see if we can i knocked it loose <laughs> but anyway um that's the idea uh that's gonna i think that's gonna work out really nice here i laid it i flipped it down uh so you guys can see the idea there is, uh, must be locked here. Anyway, then you can crank it around like so. I'm liking it already. Okay, hey, thanks you guys for watching and uh, see them all my screw ups and uh, but you know what we got it to come out and uh, the taper part worked out really well and the Morris taper number three very happy with that and uh, this is going to be a nice asset be able to put either chuck on there. Or I could take something right from the lathe and just take the chuck and everything and put it right on here and still have it uh, you know centered and concentric so of course I'll uh, have to do a couple tests with the other chuck uh, to see how concentric we are but you know four jaw we can make it concentric well my six jaw is also an adjusted true so I can also dial it in too so all right you guys hey thanks for watching this project it's a uh, 
uh, fun little uh, mod there and tooling. A lot to do. Thanks.